What's up there guys, this is Chris from VFX On, and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make a gift box inside Cinema 4D. It is pretty easy to do, so let's jump into making one. So first we create a box, let's set segments each to eighth, and we have to make the box editable, and we click here on the polygons. So we go to select, um, loop selection and we will select the top side um, segments. So select first one and uh, we'll need the second one also so shift click next go right click and where is where is this option? Oh here it is. So click smooth shift and what we will do is I think it was no it wasn't like that. So we have to control and drag just a bit um, like about that, we don't want like the top of the box, we don't want it to be like really huge. So yeah, this looks good. And uh, next what we do, we again, let's see this, and again polygon tool, um, select, loop selection, and we have to select um, the middle ones this one, so click, and this one aside, and this one also, shift and click, and shift and click. Um, and these are going to be our ribbon, ribbons that we will have. Um, if you want, you can like add some here, you know, however you want your box to look, but I think that usually this is how the ribbons are on the gifts. So um, that's how mine will look. Now again, let's right click and smooth shift, hold control and just drag and I'm gonna drag to about like this far because the ribbons actually aren't that huge in real life so this is how it's gonna look. Next what we do is we need to create a new material for, let's create two materials. So this is going to be the base layer, or the base color of our gift box. Um, let's see what color should I pick. Um, I'm going to go with light blue, and this is for a ribbon color. I'm going to go with, let's see, this so light yellow yellow color so next what we do is we select loop selection again and uh, I have already selected well it did say selected these ribbons so if you if for you it's not selected then simply reselect them click shift click shift click and shift click and just move the material on them Next, what we do, oh, actually, no, let's go back. So, we have to first add the base color. And now we can uh, shift click, shift click, um, shift click, and sh oops, shift click. Now, let's add our ribbon color. So, um, next, we go um, to here and we select Sisoid. Then by the type we change that to lemnis lemniscate. Now what we do, let's move this aside. And we will move this up. So basically this cisoid is gonna be our bow for the gift. So let's go and scale that down. Like depending on how big you want your bow to be, I think mine will be about like that. And next, we simply move it down like so. Next, we go and we select the rectangle. Let's again scale that down to about like, let's say about like uh, this big. Next, we need, need uh, sweep nerves and let's add rectangle and seesoid into our sweep nerves. And here we 
have our bow, which is, um, it is just huge, humongous. Like, I, um, wow. Okay, so let's go to rectangle. And here we can adjust our bow size. So, um, about like this, I don't know, this kind of looks. Um, no, I'm gonna increase the width. Like about like this. What do we have if I click roundings? Oh, rounds up. That looks nice. Okay, so I'm gonna stick with that. Okay. Maybe let's decrease the width. Oops. To like one centimeter. Okay, that will be good. So next what we do, uh, make sure that you have your settings as you like right here because we're going to now make this editable and uh, it will not, you will not be able to you know change any settings if you click this. So mine are good, I click uh, make editable, I select all of these, I right click and go connect plus delete like that. Now what we do is click control and move down this object so we will have a duplicate. Now by the rotation here we will type 19 degrees. Why that didn't work? For some reason it is not working. Why is it not working? That's weird. Okay. Oh, now it should be working. Okay, my bad. Yeah. Okay, so now it is apparently working, but somewhat it looks kind of weird. But okay, we will still have to work with it. Um, now let's um, select both, and again, control and drag down to dub duplicate them. Now we will rotate these. Let's see. This. I think this is good. Okay, so our bow looks pretty good. Now select all of these and right click and connect objects plus delete. Like so, and we can add the color to them or the material that we have. If you want, you can change it the color, but I'm gonna stick with the yellow. And uh, pretty much here you have your gift box. Okay. I'm gonna adjust a few things right here. Make another Okay, another material that is going to be my, my bow, like, like, it, like that, and if we render, it looks pretty sweet. I actually kind of like this color, let's try it, I like this color more, yeah, so this, okay, if we add that to bow, the yellow one. Actually, now for the bow, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a lighter yellow. No, oops, where am I? Color. Like so, and I'm gonna make a transparency to it. Not much. So, and that's bow, and let's see how does it look. Okay, it doesn't reflect that much. Increase it more. 
Yeah, that looks good. I kind of like that. Okay, so that's my gift box. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial how to make a gift box. It is kind of a little late because all the Christmas and uh, everything is, you know, past. But, uh, you know, there's always next year. And uh, maybe even if there's birthdays coming up or something like that, you can use this. And uh, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Um, please make sure that you click that like button and uh, subscribe, comment uh, any questions and or any suggestions. Um, yeah, so you can also find me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.